Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we welcome back Carol Chris, who is the Regional General Manager in ANZ for GBG. Carol featured in a previous IT Jam about GBG last week, where she gave a rundown on the ins and outs of GBG, the social solutions they offer. Um, so today we'll be talking about ID digital identity verification technology and biometrics. Welcome back to the jam, Carol. Thank you. No worries. So to kick us off, um, digital identi identity verification tech is becoming more essential um, in the last year, a lot, especially during the pandemic. Um, so what do large and small enterprises, uh, particularly those in the financial services sector, um, what do they need to be doing to be up to speed? Definitely. Look, banks, digital payment companies or any kind of financial institution, large and small, are all required actually to undertake what we call Know Your Customer or KYC and anti-money laundering checks as part of their onboarding process as regulated by Austrac um, in the Australian market. It's important to understand that the pandemic doesn't remove the need for these checks, but and companies, financial institutions still need to meet these compliance requirements, but it's also critical that they actually digitalize their identity verification process. The pandemic actually highlighted that face-to-face -face transactions, face-to-face -face engagement with your bank, financial service organization just weren't possible. So it really accelerated the need for financial institutions to actually enable digital capability and you know, to actually keep their business running and acquire new customers and to transact with the existing ones. So keeping a balance on that EKYC process, um, making sure the customer experience is actually painless and frictionless for customers to actually minimise abandonment rate and to minimise the impact of business. So a digital capability plus the, the compliance is key and has been key during the last 12 months. What also has become very obvious is that customer experience is, is a critical success factor for financial institutions, consumers, you know, and we can all share this experience. We've got higher expectations of any business that we deal with. And we know that organisations that are quick to respond, financial institutions that are quick to respond and have a, a great digital capability are actually winning customer loyalty. A recent study that we undertook showed that seven in 10 customers demonstrated deeper loyalty to financial services organisations that heavily invested in customer experience. So it's not just a buzzword, it's actually key for consumers to actually continue their ongoing business with a financial services organisation. But also another factor that's important as we move into a digital world is digital trust. So, you know, the trust factor is key. People need to know that they can trust the organisation they're dealing with, particularly financial institutions, and when, you know, you've, in times of hardship and during the pandemic, what we saw that people were more exposed to identity theft, fraud and, you know, cybersecurity issues around the world. And so that is, you know, a key part in, in the ecosystem that we play. We play a part in creating digital trust between organisations and their consumers as also, and also supporting that frictionless customer experience. So digital identity verification technology is core to that. Um, because we ensure that it's highly secure, it's aligned with industry regulation and is reliable and key to delivering for both small and large financial institutions to stay relevant and competitive in the market. Right, yeah. And um, so I understand GBG um, has its own digital identity verification solution, Green ID. Um, so could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure, definitely. A little on our history, um, Green ID is actually a homegrown product, um, Australia made, and it's a market leading solution um, that has been successful in supporting both large and small businesses in Australia, New Zealand, and New Zealand, addressing KYC and AML regulatory and compliance requirements since 2005. So we've been in the business for about 16 years. Our new platform, um, we're calling it the Green ID Digital Identity Verification Platform, is actually an end to end suite of biometric and document verification, data matching and data intelligence to actually streamline and accelerate that whole EKYC process. Um, the platform enables organisations to automate and complete that end-to-end -end digital onboarding process in seconds. So a really key component for financial institutions in you know, the current environment where digital is key, 
but also the customer experience is, is critical for um, consumers to transact with them. Mm. Um, yeah, you briefly mentioned biometrics just then. So um, what's GBG seeing with the evolution of facial biometric technology? Great, that's an interesting question. And we've definitely seen facial biometrics technology evolve in recent years. Um, and commonly seen in facial biometric technologies, we call active liveness, where users, and you've probably used this yourself, you're compelled to perform a number of different actions, turn your face, nod, frown, um, exposed to multiple flashing lights. And that's you know where biometrics has sort of started. But what we're actually now seeing is that consumers want a less intrusive process. They want to, don't want to go through so much interaction, um, so little demand on them. So we've actually adopted at GBG what we're calling a passive liveness single image technology uh, for our fi facial biometric solution in Green ID. What does that actually mean? It, the consumer, the end user only re is required to take a single selfie and that would be enough to then determine that they're actually alive, present, during the actual onboarding process. And behind that technology is just some really smart neural network AI or artificial intelligence to actually determine whether that person is actually the person on the, on the photograph that they're taking the selfie of. Mm. Yeah, and um, yeah, more specifically, how has that technology um, impacted demand and customer experience? Well, as I've mentioned, consumers want a really fast onboarding process, whether it's, you know, undertaking an online transaction, setting up a new credit card account, you know, transacting with your financial institution. They want that to be fast and intuitive. And passive liveness is actually the passive liveness facial uh, verification process is 10 times faster than active liveness, so what we've traditionally used in biometrics and less demand for consumers to perform all those gestures that I mentioned. And so it actually means that there's, there's a lower abandonment rate, about 50% lower abandonment rate. So we've found that, and financial institutions <clears throat> have found that often they put the biometrics process in place and people just get too confused and just drop out. This actually um, ensures that you've probably got a 50% improvement in that, that adoption and people actually continue with, with the transaction. Um, but biometrics overall is still a little bit daunting for some financial institutions, but, you know, they, they consume, well, financial institutions need to take comfort that consumers are very familiar with this technology today. They're doing it every day. They're taking selfies with their driver's license. They're using a whole load of different technology um, with their phones and other devices. So um, I think the adoption rate is, is really growing very rapidly. It actually provides, Biometrics also provides an opportunity to present and develop solutions for people with more complex and no identity verification documentation. So it actually addresses a market that there's previously been a gap for in, in the past. All right, yeah. Um, and finally, um, where can businesses, customers, partners find out more about your um, Green ID solution? Well, we have, GBG has three offices in Australia, Sydney, Melbourne and Canberra. Um, we have a you know, dedicated sales and marketing team and we have a comprehensive website. If you just um, have a look at gbgplc.com slash APAC um, and the new website, which is gbg slash greenid.com, you'll be able to find a lot more information and we'll, we'll add those details at the end of this. Um, to get some information and contact me directly if you need to via LinkedIn. Perfect. Cool. Well, thank you again for coming on, Carol. Uh, that concludes today's 10-minute IT Jam with GBG Regional General Manager for ANZ, Carol Chris. Thanks for coming on again today. Thank you.